want to do a little bit of an FAQ, just some frequently asked questions or things you might be wondering about The Artist's Way, but I'm actually going to read it directly from the author herself since it's her brainchild and I'm just going to be acting as a facilitator. So here's a question, is true creativity the possession of a relatively small percentage of the population? She says, absolutely not. We are all creative. Creativity is a natural life force that all can experience in one form or another. Just as blood is part of our physical body and there is nothing we must invent, creativity is part of us and we each can tap into those greater creative energies and pull from that vast spiritual powerful wellspring to amplify our own individual creativity. I love that answer. Everyone is creative. Every single person. Let's see, can I expect dramatic results to begin occurring right away? The answer is both yes and no. While dramatic changes will occur within the 12 week course, and again, I can attest to that, much more dramatic changes occur when the Artist Way tools become lifelong tools. So it really depends on you and your commitment, how fast you jump in, how committed you are, how much of a change you want to see and facilitate within yourself, and then sort of how long you continue to work with these tools. What factors keep people from being creative? Conditioning, she says. Family, friends, education may discourage us from pursuing an artist's career. There's a mythology that artists are somehow different, and this mythology difference inspires fear. We have negative perceptions about what an artist is, and we feel less inclined to do the diligent work necessary to become one. On a societal level, blocked creative energy man manifests itself as self-destructive behavior. Many people who are engaged in self-defeating behaviors are really in the hands of the shadow side of the creative force. As we become more creative, these negative expressions often abate. How does this book free people to be more creative? She says the primary purpose and effect of the artist way is to put people in touch with the power of their own internal creativity. The book frees people to be more creative in many different ways. First, it helps dismantle negative mythologies about artists. Second, it helps people discover their own creative force, access it and express it more freely. And third, it provides people with an awareness about their self-destructive behaviors and allows them to see more clearly the impediments on their individual path. Finally, the book helps people identify and celebrate their creative desires and dreams and make plans to accomplish them. One of the creative, oh, I'm sorry, one of the central themes of the artist's way is the link between creativity and spirituality. How are they connected? Creativity, she says, is a spiritual force. It's the force that drives the green fuse through the flower. As Dylan Thomas defined in his idea of the life force, it's the same urge that drives us towards creation. There is a central will to create that is part of human heritage and potential. Because creation is always an act of faith and faith is a spiritual issue, so is creativity. As we strive for our highest selves, our spiritual selves, we cannot help but be more aware, more proactive, and more creative. She talks a lot about spirituality in here and I don't want that to freak you out. She, as you read, you will see, she helps you define that however you want, whatever that means to you. But she does make some objective arguments that it is undeniable that there is something within the cells of a flower that forces it to grow. There is something within ancient people that they wanted to leave handprints on a cave wall. There is something in each of us that wants us to decorate our homes and nest and make things with our hands. So she's just saying whatever that is, whatever that drive is, is undeniable and we work with it and utilize it. Um, another one is the artist way is a 12 week program that requires daily commitments. How much time do I need to devote to it each day? And what can I accomplish in the 12 weeks? She says it is a daily commitment of a half an hour to an hour. One of the most important things we learn during the 12 weeks is to give up our ideas of perfection and see a new perspective to change our focus from product to process. So, and I also want to say, don't let that freak you out too. I would argue that the artist way is a 12 week program that requires 15 minutes at least a day. That's what I would rather you take away. At least 15 minutes up to an hour and a half. It's whatever you make of it, but you can set that bar where you need to for you to be successful. Better to do 10 minutes a day even than nothing at all. Somebody says, what can I do to overcome my self-doubts? The point is not to overcome your self-doubts about being an artist. The point is to move through your self-doubts. Many of us believe that real artists do not experience self-doubt, but in truth, artists are just people who have learned to live with doubt and work anyway. And this book helps you do that. And let's see. Da -da 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 -da. What is the most common misconception about creativity? 
The most common misconception is that we would have to leave our current lives in order to pursue our dreams. It is easier for us to use our jobs, families, financial situations, times, obligations as a way to keep us safe from the anxiety caused by stepping out of our comfort zones into the creative process. When we allow ourselves to be thus thwarted, we deny ourselves tremendous joy. The most effective way to center to center confront blocks, to center confront blocks, <laughs> is to form a creative cluster in the lives we're already leading. leading. A guide to creative clusters follows. So that's what I want to facilitate for you. Hopefully that answers some of your questions, maybe some of your doubts. How does this work? And if you have any more questions, you can check out the Frequently Asked Questions section of the Artist's Way book.